All right, so in this video, obviously, I'm reviewing the Somni uh, Lucid Dreaming Mask. Now, this is going to be a pretty detailed video because I'm not only unboxing it, you know, for the first time I'm showing you here, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to wait, you know, like a few weeks, maybe even a couple of months to use it, you know, for several nights and actually go through it, use it as a, as you would use it, as a brand new person, as a brand new user, and uh, hopefully get a real understanding about how it works. Now, I've made a, I've made a video about this before, um, before it was officially you know, released and funded on Kickstarter, um, explaining why I think this is a really good lucid dreaming mask compared to most of the other ones. So there's, there's a number of reasons uh, why it's really good, in my opinion at least, and why, although the marketing behind it is, you know, it could be better. It's not as sexy, let's say, as the, um, a couple of the other ones, the Insta Dreamer and the, and the other ones, that don't let that put you off. Okay, there's the, there's a reason this is different. This is um, it's a step up from most of the other lucid dreaming tech that I've seen, and that's really exciting. Okay, so don't let the marketing and the you know the clunkiness, I guess, uh, of it put you off. Um, this is actually a really decent product, um, and hopefully it lives up to the expectations that I have. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just unbox it for you, show you exactly what you get. I've actually got two versions of it here, uh, which I believe is the, the white and the black. Uh, I also like that they've had, uh, they've put the little Inception Totem logo here on the box. That's really cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to then explain why this is, you know, pretty exciting compared to other, other sleep and lucid dreaming tech. And then I'm going to edit in uh, a clip, which I haven't made yet, which I'm going to be uh, testing it, you know, over the next few weeks, month or two, uh, to see if it really works. All right, so I'm going to start by unboxing this one, which is the, let me see what color this is. This is the black uh, version of this. There's two different colors, uh, as far as I know. And let's just go ahead and open it up. I might need a knife or something. So here we have the main, you know, device. And uh, as you can see, it's actually really simple. It's actually really simple. Um, there's a few things I want to explain about this, which I'll get onto in a second. But as you can see, it's decent. You know, it's, it's a nice quality. This is basically like a rubber or foam sleep mask with, you know, little indentations here for your eyes. Let me just show you so you can see that. Uh, if you're listening to this on the podcast version, then obviously this won't make a lot of sense to you. Um, but I'll try and explain as I go. And uh, if you, you know, if you want to watch the review video, just go, go over to YouTube and you'll be able to see it there. So, some things I like about this straight away. So the first one is that the actual device itself is tiny. Like this is the, um, you know, the, the piece of technology that allows it to work. And as you can see, it's really, really small. Uh, so hopefully that won't interfere with your sleep much. It, for those listening to the uh, podcast version, it's basically the size of, mm, what can we say? It's like the width of a coin and the length of, let's say, two coins stacked on top of each other. I think that's fair to say. Um, and roughly, uh, roughly the size of my thumb. Okay, so if you look at that, uh, if you're watching this, you can see it's pretty small. That's a good thing straight away. Okay. The second thing I like about this already is that having tested a whole bunch of different sleep masks, this, um, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just call it the nose flap <laughs> because I don't know what else it's called. Uh, this actually makes a huge difference to how good the sleep mask performs. Without this, the slightest bit of light is just going to go in through, you know, underneath your nose and render the whole mask useless. So I'm glad they put this in. Uh, for those of you who can see this, this is just a little flap of material. That means that when you wear this thing, um, the light can't go underneath the mask and up behind your nose, if that makes sense. If you've used a sleep mask before, you'll know exactly what I mean by that. Um, but long story short, good design of, of sleep mask to base this device on, you know, to put this device on. And then from what I can see, yep, yeah, pretty standard elastic strap, Velcro, uh, the device itself looks pretty comfortable. So I'm just going to put this to the side for now and then see what else we have in the box here. So micro USB cable, which is uh, how it's charged. And then we have the headphones, which is just standard. I'll take them out so you can have a look. Standard in-ear headphones designed specifically for this mask. Uh, a few people on the 
I think on some of the Reddit groups were saying, why can't I just use my own headphones? The reason is, if you try to you know, sleep with sleep music and um, uh, meditation music when you sleep, your headphone wire gets in the way, it tangles around everywhere. So that's why they've included the headphones like this, because they're exactly the perfect size or the perfect length so that they won't get in the way of anything. Okay, so I'll just put those to the side. And then we have the instruction manual in several different languages. So we have American, German, Swedish, French, a bunch of different languages, okay? There's not much in the way of instructions, let's be honest. And this is probably one of the downsides of the Somni mask is that, in my opinion at least, the marketing could have been done a bit better. The attention to detail with certain things could have been a bit better. For example, the instruction manual, as far as I can see, there's no, this is it. Okay, and, and the majority of this is in different languages. The only instruction that I can see you get is a one page summary here. And this is the English summary. I'll just hold it there so you can pause it and read it if you want to. Um, basically just tells you how to, it's like a quick start guide. It says basically insert the headphones, put the mask on, turn it on, and then so on. Right, it's a really simple quick start guide. I'm gonna get into more of that. And when I actually test this thing myself, I'll explain some tips and how you can uh, get more out of this and my expert opinion on how you can actually have more lucid dreams with this thing. And that's basically everything that's in the box as far as I can see, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a lot of this back in just for a second and just very quickly show you the, um, the other color just so you can see what that's like and then I'll get into some specifics about why I think this is a good mask how you can use it and how you can get one. All right, so this is the white version. And this is the two masks kind of side by side. You can see, in my opinion, the black one looks nicer, but that's just me. Um, you don't have to. The color I don't think makes a difference. All right, so we've done the unboxing. We've seen what's in the box here. Um, I'm gonna give it a charge and turn it on. Um, However, the one thing I, you know, another thing I like about this is there's no screen. There's no blinking lights apart from the ones that are supposed to blink, uh, you know, on this side of the device. There's no annoying lights that I can see. Um, it's really simple. You just have, literally have headphone port, on and off switch, USB port to charge it. That's it. Uh, it looks like it's pretty much built in to this. So let's give it a try. Let's put it on. So my first thoughts are that as a sleep mask, it's really good. You know, it blocks out, I would say 100% of the light. There's just maybe a tiny bit down here, but if I just adjust it, I literally can't see anything. So, and that's, that's quite good, you know, quite an achievement for any sleep mask, let alone one that also does what the Somni can do. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit tight at the moment. Let's see if I can adjust that. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. It's pretty comfortable. Um, oh, blinded by the light now. If you are listening to the podcast version of this, uh, this might not make much sense at all really, but hopefully you can um, come over to the YouTube and now I'm gonna get into the specifics about why I'm excited about the Somni, how I think it can be used to lucid dream, uh, and why, you're probably wondering, a few questions that I think you might have, uh, which I'm gonna answer now. Firstly, why would you as a lucid dreamer, why would you go out and buy this thing? Well, firstly, how much is this thing, right? It's not as expensive as the majority of sleep tech and, and lucid dreaming tech, I should say. Um, it's under $300. It's actually at the moment only, I believe, $200. This price will probably change when they, you know, get more interest in orders coming through uh, because it's recently funded on uh, either Indiegogo or Kickstarter. So obviously it's a crowdfunded thing. They're just, as a company starting to find their feet and, and develop uh, ways of fulfilling these orders and, and getting everything sorted out. So yeah, uh, I'm sure that the price will change in the coming weeks and months. At the moment it's $200, but even if it, let's say they add $100 to it and it becomes $300, there's a really good reason why it's worth that money. Uh, and I'm gonna get onto that now. All right, so like most of the sleep masks and lucid dreaming masks that have been funded in the past, right? The ones we've seen so far. The goal with any lucid dreaming mask so far has been to, to try and detect when you're in REM sleep, 
Okay, because the majority of dreams, and certainly lucid dreams, happen in REM sleep, you're more likely to um, actually have a lucid dream if you interrupt yourself just before or during your REM sleep, and then in this case, you you see like a series of flashing lights, um, you hear certain certain sounds through the headphones. That makes it more likely that you'll lucid dream. So the goal has always been to try and guess or predict when you're in REM sleep. The problem with that is that you're guessing. So, so far up until this, you've been guessing. Uh, the mask or device has been trying to use an algorithm, data, timing, timers, predictions. In some cases, literally just a timer. It will just go off after five hours, no matter what stage you're in, which is probably one of the worst ways of doing it. But this is different because this actually does not guess when you're in REM sleep. It knows when you're in REM sleep because it tracks your eye movement. Okay, so something very, very different about this, and this is that's why I'm so excited about this mask out compared to all of the others. Okay, as far as I know, and I, I, I haven't looked into every single mask, but as far, I've seen the vast majority of masks out there, devices, lucid dreaming induction devices. As far as I know, this is the first one that can track your eye movements to determine when you're in REM sleep. So that makes it straight away, it sets it apart from the rest and makes this a very exciting piece of equipment. So how does it work? Well, firstly, as you can see here, on one half of the sleep mask, there is actually a eye movement tracker. This is a movement tracker. And that sits in, it's only on one of the one eye, okay? Um, you, you don't feel it. I've tried this on, you don't feel it because it's embedded in this foam ridge here. So even if you're a side sleeper like me, you're, it's not gonna, you're not gonna know it's there. Okay, but it tracks the movement of your eyes. So in REM sleep, your eyes move around and that actually makes, causes a bump in your eyelids to move around as well. So it can track when you're in REM sleep. So finally, there's no need for the algorithm to guess when you're in REM sleep because it pretty much knows when you're in REM sleep. That is the vast majority of the problem so far that all of these masks, all of these devices have been trying to solve. How can we Firstly, detect when you're in REM sleep, and then secondly, get a message to you during that time, whether it's like a flashing light or a sound, or even a vibration, an electrical stimuli, whatever it is, a signal to try and remind you that you're dreaming. Well, now it's not guessing at all. It knows exactly when you're in REM sleep. It's pretty accurate. And I'm, again, I'm gonna test this myself. I'm gonna go through the, the process and test it for a few weeks, but it's pretty accurate. Okay, it can detect your REM sleep and then show you these messages. So that's how it works. Okay, so it detects that you're in REM sleep, it shows you the flashing lights, you can train it, you can customize it and you know, plug it into the USB, uh, customize different settings. And then the idea is that over time, you can work with this device and accurately predict when you're in REM sleep, uh, get a message to yourself using the lights or the audio and become lucid, theoretically, whenever you want. I know I'm gonna get some hate for saying that, but Theoretically, is the key word here, you can m m accurately predict when you're in REM sleep using this device and then stack the odds in your favor so that it's much more likely that you will know you're in REM sleep, get the message, the flashing lights, and become lucid. It takes a bit of training and it takes a bit of practice, obviously. It's much more effective when you combine it with other things, which I'm gonna get onto soon, in a minute. And I actually have a suggestion for you, which I'll get onto at the end of this video but it's very interesting. Okay, I'm sure you can see right now, this compared to other lucid dreaming masks and devices, this is a very interesting one. It's different, okay? There's a few other ways it's different as well. So what would happen with a lot of the older masks, and again, I'm not gonna name drop because I'm not trying to, you know, criticize these things too heavily. You know, they had the right intention, they wanted to make lucid dreaming more accessible, and for whatever reason, their products or projects didn't work. Or, or you know they didn't work as much as they wanted them to. This one is different because the false positive signal is virtually eliminated with this mask. So what would happen with let's say your average, let's call it mask A, right? Your your normal lucid dreaming mask would hopefully detect when you're in REM sleep and it would show you this, the flashing lights. But the problem is it would also show you signals when you weren't in REM sleep or when you were just turning over when you were just rolling over in bed, when you were scratching your head, or you know whatever it is, when you were in a different sleep stage entirely. 
The algorithm here knows when you're moving because it has an accelerometer as well. So if you're turning over, it knows to, can to disregard that. Even if it detects that your eyes are moving, it will disregard that because you're moving. So it knows you're not in REM sleep or it's you know, more likely that you're just turning over and you're disrupted. So in theory, it will only show you the signal when you are actually in REM sleep and not just when it thinks you are, when you're actually in REM sleep. That makes a huge difference and that will make it far more effective than the masks before it. So we spoke about comfort, you know, this is quite a comfortable mask to wear. And again, I will test this thoroughly. The next thing is price. Now the price of this at the moment is about $200. It will probably go up to 300 when it you know, becomes like officially released to the public. You can order it now. I wanna just clarify, you can order this now and it will arrive in a few weeks time. But the interesting thing is the price is only $200. Uh, even if it were $300, this is vastly different to masks that have come before it. And I believe this has a huge potential to change the lucid dreaming industry, to change the whole sleep and you know wellness industries because through lucid dreaming, you can do so much more, so many more things. Uh, and it really is exciting. It really is an exciting time. Technology is finally being fused with lucid dreaming. The branding of this thing, I personally think could have done, could have been done a bit better. It seems like they've just kind of put some text uh, and the, you know, the symbol from Inception, the lucid dreaming totem, but don't let that put you off. Okay. There've been projects before this that have been much better branded and marketed, but they didn't work as well. The products uh, or the projects didn't work. The, f the idea behind them was not right. You know, it was flawed. This is different. Okay. This, you have a really good concept. You have hopefully working technology that really does do what it says it's gonna do. The only kind of chink in the armor here is the marketing and the branding, which uh, I think could be done a little bit better, but that's the only thing. So if you're a beginner looking at this and you're thinking like, you know, I'm brand new to lucid dreaming, I just wanna have my first lucid dream, should you get this mask? No, but let me clarify what I mean by that. No, you should not just get this mask. If you just get this mask, put it on, and expect to have lucid dreams, you will waste your money, you'll be severely disappointed because it doesn't work like that. You really need to first learn how to lucid dream, build up the skills, learn the techniques, experience it and work out how, you know, how you're gonna do this thing. And then you use things like this as like a, a resource or a tool. You should never just rely on one thing, whether it's a mask or a supplement or whatever it is. That being said, when you understand how it works, this is a game changer, okay? This is a really, really powerful way to make it so much more likely that you will actually lose a dream. It's not, even, it's not even funny, okay? Now this video has gone on for a very long time. I might split this up into two, actually, so this will just be the unboxing, and then later on I'll do a full review of it. Um, what I would say is if you are considering buying this, firstly, there's a link in the description, you should be able to get the, a discount, at least 50% off at the moment. This might change depending on when you watch this video. Secondly, you really wanna make sure that you learn how to lucid dream either first or at the same time as trying this device. Many ways you can do this. You can either check the videos on my channel. I've got thousands, not thousands, I've got hundreds of tutorials. Uh, you can go to my website, howtolucid.com, uh, or in my opinion, the kind of the fastest way is just to cut through all the noise and go through what I have created, which is a lucid breakthrough course. This is a high quality video course, which explains exactly how to lucid dream in, in simple steps. I would really like to encourage you to do that alongside the Somni mask because they really do go hand in hand. And it's a way for you to just kind of jump in, skip past all the noise and the wasted you know, time and whatever, and just learn exactly how to do it why most beginners fail, learn the statistically the most likely way to lucid dream, the statistically most likely way to improve your sleep, to remember your dreams, all of that is in this course. So go and check out the link in the description. There is also the link to get a Somni mask in the description at a huge discount. Uh, and I would really love to hear what you think. So leave a comment letting me know what you think about this mask. If you do have any questions about this, anything at all, put them in the uh, comment section. I will try and answer them in my full review video, which I'll make in a few weeks time. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.